Hey y'all, T Ham 141 here, and this morning I'm gonna go over a little bit of the reality of homesteading. You know, we really try, and the things that we do on the homestead and on these homesteading channels, that we really try them. We're really working them, and we're learning as we go. Um, one of the things that we come across is. Uh, our gardens, mine, did, this garden does not look the way I want it to look. <laughs> um, I am in the process of refurbishing and creating my soil. It is beginning to work, but I'm going to show you my predominant vegetable that I have grown this year would be weeds and or strawberries depending on how you want to look at them. But this is my garden and I've started to try to reclaim it. Okay, I have some uh, cantaloupes that aren't doing the best. I have some squash. Um, I have some beans that are really doing good. They haven't started developing. Uh, at the end of the bean, I have a comfrey plant. I have a pepper plant and then that is all kale. And then I had this big space where I planted nothing. The soil was just so hard. I said I'm going to leave that for a while, and and it it, it it grows weeds great. It grows weeds like that over there. And now these are tomatoes that I planted. That uh, I transplanted them. They were they were root bound. Uh, in the house because I planted them way too early in the house so they were root bound and I planted them and they are coming they're beginning to come back up through I put some organic tomato fertilizer on them uh, this is one that had grown big right here that the transplant shock but I still might get some stuff off it I'm thinking of clipping off the top so that it will because the bottom's starting to take over take take over again now my onions I've got some onions I need to begin harvesting um, they have been in here for two years um, and then I just planted in between them the new onions in between the old onions there are no excuses for this last year my wife was sick but this year it is just life man life happens um, here are my onions here are my cucumbers and I'm beginning to get some cukes. That little baby right there. Got some coming here. Oh, there's a nice one. It's fat. <laughs> I don't want fat cukes. I want skinny cukes. I want pickling cukes. What's going on? Here is my asparagus bed. And you can see the new, the new asparagus plants are doing really good up under there. Um, my chives are doing beautiful, beautiful. The chives are doing beautiful. These are my sugar beets. And as I'm weeding, as I'm taking back my garden from the weeds, I am coming this way, working my way this way. You can see there's kind of a line there. Uh, I ha I've got to, you know, continue doing this. I was letting the clover grow in the garden because it brings up the nutrients, the deep nutrients, and fixes the nitrogen. But all these, all these strawberries, this is strawberries all over in here. I have got to pull up and I'm going to give some to my daughter. I believe that's thyme right there. My corn. Okay. Now these tomatoes are doing wonderful. Uh, brandy wine, Amish paste. Um, my carrots are doing really good. I do need to weed eat <laughs> in here. I'm going to get this black cloth down everywhere for next year. Uh, more brandy wines, I believe. My echinacea. I've got to get that transplanted in the wild here shortly. There's another echinacea. My basil, I've got to get that transplanted into the garden. My beets, my regular beets are growing good, I hope, down there. If nothing else, I got beet greens. 
Here are my cucumbers. Ooh, something's getting to my cucumber leaves. I'm not seeing any. I'm seeing flowers, but not cucumbers. This is my big old Mongolian giant sunflower. My comfrey here is doing beautiful. Yeah, it's time to harvest some beans. I love picking beans right out of the garden and eating them. Mm. My spinach is overgrown with weeds. My kale is getting that way. My Swiss chard is getting that way. My tomatoes at some point did not get enough water. But they're in smaller pots. I don't think I'm going to do smaller pots next year. I think I will replicate what I did over here because they seem to be doing really good. So yeah, there are no excuses, but there's also no Instagram photos to be had here. Um, everything is the way it is. We try to be real here on the homestead. I am going to have to go to a farmer's market. If you live in an apartment, you're going to have to go to a farmer's market. Woo! Here come the rain. All right, guys. This is TM141 saying, listen, do your best. No one is 100% self-sufficient. I do not have an Instagram garden, but I'll be real with you about it. You follow my channel, you'll find out whether the stuff works or whether it doesn't. Hey, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe, like, and uh, hit that little notification bell so that you get notified every time I come out with new videos. All right, y'all have a great day. God bless.